the Convair XC99, AF Air. Number 43 to 52436, is a prototype heavy cargo aircraft built by Convair for the United States Air Force. It was the largest piston engined land based transport aircraft ever built, and was developed from the Convair B 36 bomber, sharing the wings and some other structures with it. The first flight was on November 24, 1947, in San Diego, California, and after testing, it was delivered to the Air Force on May 26, 1949. The Convair Model 37 was a planned civil passenger variant based on the XC 99 but was not built. Design and development Design capacity of the XC 99 was 100,000 pounds of cargo or 400 fully equipped troops on its double cargo decks. A cargo lift was installed for easier loading. The engines face rearward in a pusher configuration. Equals plan civil variant equals, the Convair Model 37 was a large civil passenger design derived from the XC-99 but was never built. The Model 37 was to be of similar proportions to the XC-99. 182 feet 6 inches length, 230 feet wingspan, and a high capacity, double-deck fuselage. The projected passenger load was to be 204, and the effective range of 4,200 miles. Fifteen aircraft were ordered by Pan American for transatlantic service. However, the fuel and oil consumption of the 6 3,500 horsepower WASP major radials powering the XC-99 and B-36 meant that the design was not economically viable and the hoped for turboprop power plants did not materialize fast enough. The low number of orders were not sufficient to initiate production, and the project was abandoned. Operational History In July 1950, the XC-99 flew its first cargo mission, Operation Elephant. It transported 101,266 pounds of cargo, including engines and propellers for the B-36, from San Diego to Kelly Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas, a record it would later break when it lifted 104,000 pounds from an airfield at 5,000 feet elevation. In August 1953, the XC-99 would make its longest flight, 12,000 miles, to Rhein-Main Air Base, Germany, by way of Kindly Air Force Base, Bermuda and Lages Field in the Azores. It carried more than 60,000 pounds each way. It attracted much attention everywhere it flew. The U.S. Air Force determined that it had no need for such a large, long-range transport at that time, and no more were ordered. The Sol XC-99 served until 1957, including much use during the Korean War. It made twice-weekly trips from Kelly AFB to the aircraft depot at McClellan AFB, California transporting supplies and parts for the B-36 bomber while returning by way of other bases or depots making pickups and deliveries along the way. During its operational life, the XC-99 logged over 7,400 hours total time, and transported more than 60 million pounds of cargo. The aircraft made its last flight on March 19, 1957, landing at Kelly Air Force Base, where it would remain for the next 47 years. The then United States Air Force Museum at Wright-Patterson AFB in Dayton, Ohio, requested that the aircraft be flown there for display, but the Air Force refused due to the $7,400 cost of the flight. Retirement and Display The aircraft was put on display at Kelly Air Force Base near San Antonio, Texas, in 1957. Deterioration of the airframe due to the high magnesium content was beyond local abilities to address. The aircraft was later moved to a grassy field near the base and 1993 the USAF moved it back to the Kelly AFB. Disassembly of the aircraft began at Kelly Field in April 2004 and the airframe was moved in pieces from Kelly to the museum at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base near Dayton, Ohio. By the summer of 2008, the transfer was complete and the parts were lying outside the museum. The aircraft had continued to suffer corrosion and was found to be in worse condition than expected, with the restoration task being beyond the resources of the museum in a realistic time scale. Some major components such as the wing spar would need to be completely replaced. 
The museum's plans for the restoration and display of the XC-99 are displayed in a case with a 172 scale model made by Lieutenant Colonel Howard T. Meek. In an effort to preserve the aircraft it was later moved to the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group Storage Facility at Tabiza Euromongan Air Force Base, in Tucson, Arizona, where it will remain, in an area containing other aircraft belonging to the museum, until the museum is able to restore it. In 2014, Lieutenant General John L. Hudson, USAF, Director of the National Museum of the United States Air Force said that there would be insufficient resources for restoration in the foreseeable future. Survivor, XC-99 SN 43 to 50 2436 is part of the National Museum of the United States Air Force collection at Wright-Patterson AFB in Dayton, Ohio. The aircraft was disassembled at Kelly Air Force Base and its sections transported to Ohio for anti-corrosion preservation and reassembly there. It was subsequently transported in the summer of 2012, to davis Monthan AFB and is stored in Area 20 of the AMARG, the so-called Boneyard. Specifications, data from General Dynamics aircraft and their predecessors, general characteristics, crew, 5 duty plus 5 reserve crew, capacity. 400 troops, payload, 100,000 pounds, length, 182 feet 6 inches, wingspan, 230 feet 0 in, height, 57 feet 6 in, wing area, 4,772 FTA squared, empty weight, 135,232 pounds, loaded weight, 265,000 pounds, max takeoff weight, 320,000 pounds, Power Plant, Sixer, Pratt & Whitney R4360-41 Wasp Major 28-cylinder air-cooled radial engine, 3,500 horsepower each, performance, maximum speed, 307 miles per hour, range, 8,100 miles, service ceiling, 30,000 feet. See also, Related Development, Convair B-36, Aircraft of Comparable Role, Configuration and Era Bristol Brabazon, Lockheed A6V Constitution, Saunders Row Princess, two Polar Vant 20, related lists, list of military aircraft of the United States. References. Equals notes equals. Equals bibliography equals. External links. Golly to Air and Space Museum Convair XC99 in Model 37, U.S. To Europe with 50 tons. Popular Science. March 1950, early article withdrawing of first layout of XC-99, biggest air freighter goes to war 1951 article on first operational use of XC-99, photos and drawings, National Museum of the USAF, XC-99 photos, along with the photo of the 1-72nd scale XC-99 model by Lieutenant Colonel Howard Meek.